38 coronations. It's the final resting place for 17 monarchs, and the Abbey has been the site for 15 royal weddings. The wedding of William and Kate will make it 16. Now, just inside the main entrance is the north and south nave, uh, and where the general congregation of invited guests will be seated. Not such a great view from there because they are blocked by the entrance to the choir. Now, the first two rows on both sides of the aisle will have the choirs for today's ceremony, uh, the chapel, royal choir, and the choir of Westminster Abbey as well. Seated behind the choirs on both sides will be government officials, and some friends as well. Now, as Kate approaches the altar, her family will be seated in an area called the North Lantern on her left. Just next to them will be the Spencer family, Princess Diana's family, of course. Now, on the opposite side of the aisle, on Kate's right, she'll see the Queen and the rest of the royal family as well. That is the South Lantern. So she's really surrounded. She's got folks on both sides. Up a few stairs is where William and Kate will take their vows and is where the wedding kneeler will be placed as well. Following the blessing and national anthem, the couple, along with some witnesses, will move to the shrine, uh, the shrine of St. Edward's to sign the marriage registers, uh, really making the whole event official at that point. Again, uh, we're probably not going to see that part. It's all set to begin with Kate uh, as she arrives at the Great West.